we present diffused heads, diffusion models beat GANs on talking face generation. The work was done as a collaboration between researchers from the University of Wrocław, Imperial College London, Wrocław University of Science and Technology, and Tuplux. Existing methods of talking face generation suffer from many problems. The resulting videos often have unrealistically looking faces, are shaky, and lack expressions. GAN-based approaches are limited by unstable training and mode collapse. Moreover, many models require an additional source of motion to drive synthesis. Diffused heads is the first successful method for talking face generation utilizing diffusion models. It synthesizes videos using only a single still image and an audio recording. The results are smooth and resemble real videos. The model also generalizes well to unseen identities and voices. During training, we randomly pick a target frame. Following diffusion model's pipeline, we sample time step and add noise to the target frame creating its noisy version. The goal of the diffusion model is to predict the target frame given the noisy one and time encoding. Additionally, we provide it with an audio embedding of a corresponding speech fragment. To do that, we use a pre-trained audio encoder. To preserve the identity, we add an identity frame, a frame sampled from the same video clip. To inject information about the current motion, we add frames preceding the target frame, called motion frames. Both the identity frame and motion frames are concatenated channel-wise with the noisy target and pass to the model. To sample a new video, diffused heads requires only a single image and audio clip. First, the audio is split into chunks and processed using the audio encoder. Next, the motion frames are initialized with copies of the identity frame. Everything is passed to the diffusion model that generates the first frame. Then, the leftmost motion frame is discarded and the newly created one is added. The process is repeated until all of the audio embeddings are used. Audio embeddings are extracted by a pre-trained audio encoder. We condition the model on the embeddings using an extended version of time conditioning known from diffusion models. We add additional audio scale and shift components computed using a simple neural network. Additionally, we introduce audio motion embeddings, serving a similar role to the motion frames. We use them to provide extra information from the past and future. To improve lip synchronization, we introduce lip sync loss. Using facial landmarks, we create a bounding box around the lips and find corresponding areas in the noise space. Similarly to the main loss function, L simple, we define the lip sync loss as L2 distance between ground truth and predicted noises, but only in these selected regions. We evaluated our approach on two datasets, LRW and CREMA, and compared it with five other methods, SDA. Make it talk, with 2 lip, PCAVS, and EAMM. To measure video quality, we opted for FID and FVD. For expressiveness, we used an average number of blinks per second and median blink duration. For smoothness, we introduced two new metrics, mean optical flow magnitude and frame-wise mean square error. Finally, to evaluate lip and audiovisual sync, we used word error rate using a pre-trained lip reader an AV offset and AV confidence using SyncNet. Diffused heads achieves the best or second best results on the majority of the metrics. Here, we present a visual comparison with other methods. Stop in a couple of minutes. I think I have a doctor's appointment. Don't forget a jacket. It's 11 o'clock. We conducted a user study to assess the quality of our results. 150 participants from various backgrounds were asked if the presented videos were real or not. We used 10 ground truth clips, 10 generated by PCAVS, and 10 by diffused heads. Our method significantly outperformed PCAVS, and the videos were hard to distinguish from the real ones. Diffused heads also generalizes well to identities and voices not used during training. 계열 같은 경우에는 성균 인재 전형. Uh, so what are we proud of? Implemented CRM, uh, SAP CRM a few years ago. and People that have watched Sir Ken Robinson's talk. 
chance to play with this thing and I, I just had to do a video on it. Here we present examples of using various numbers of motion frames. It's 11 o'clock. We'll stop in a couple of minutes. The airplane is almost full. The project page, paper, and code are available under the link. Thanks for watching.